In this demonstration, I will write a small function that will take an RGB color image and it will separate it into three separate um, images, uh, one for red, one for green, and one for blue. So it will separate the channels. I'm going to call this function um, separate channels because that's um, what it's uh, going to do. Now if I call it get separate channels, it, it, it means that I will need to create a general function and it needs to return the three images. That's a bit of a complication, so I'm going to intentionally not uh, make this a general function. It's going to be a standalone function. So I need to allow the user to choose the file they want to process. I'm going to call this one input file path and I'm going to use pick a file. Now there's a reason why I'm storing this file path. You will see in a moment it uh, has something to do with the strat strategy that I'm going to use to create to separate the channels. Now the next thing I want to do is create the input picture or the picture object. So I will use make picture and I will pass it or pass the input file path that was just sh um, chosen by the user. And I want to show you uh, what this thing is or uh, this what this um, image is uh, that we are dealing with. And separate channels is the name. Enter and this is the image that we are going to process in this example. It has a lot of colors suitable for this sort of thing. There's, there's a lot of greens. Uh, red areas and some blue areas. So we'll see how it goes. So the next thing I want to do is uh, maybe uh, keep the red channel and remove the blues and the red uh, and the greens. So to do that, I will um, uh, several ways of doing it, of course. And uh, this is uh, probably the, uh, the 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 simplest uh, way of doing it. So we create a loop uh, for uh, in the style of for px in get pixels. And we go through the input pictures pixels, and then um, at each pixel we set the green and the blue uh, to zero. So we say set green of that pixel to zero, set blue of that pixel to zero. Now these values zero, they're not exactly hard coded values. Um, we of course it's um, technically it's hard coded, but because we will only ever be removing. Uh, and not just setting it to some intermediate value, uh, there is no other option but uh, zero. So, uh, so it's important to not get carried away also when it comes to creating variables. So uh, this will do the trick for removing the green and the blue channels. And let's just have a very quick look at what this looks like. We will save the code or save the file later. Right. So that's. Um, that's what it looks like after um, uh, uh, after the green and blue channels are removed. That's the that's the red channel that we have. So to save this, write picture two is the function that we're going to use. So write picture two is built into Jess. Takes a picture and a path. Now on a Windows machine, uh, things are fairly easy. You can say pick a file, and you can actually type in the location. And it's um, going to save it exactly right there. So that's um, that's basically how you're going to do a single channel. So you can see that there are no other uh, files here. So we're going to open that picture, and now it's asking us to save. So when you're saving while using uh, Write Picture 2, remember to um, remember to give the file extension. You have to write the extension, and that's how just knows uh, the format you want to save in. So the two formats allowed are, are PNG and JPEG. Now I prefer PNG whenever possible because it, re it doesn't reduce the quality when you save. So, um, so I added um, this part saying it's the red component that I'm saving. That's just for the file name. It doesn't have a meaning. So that's done. All right. Now let's uh, take a look at how we can repeat this code to uh, take care of the other channels as well. So I'm going to start repeating and making changes from this part. So as I said earlier, this is um, the most straightforward approach. It's not claiming to be the most elegant approach. So in this uh, second segment of code, we are setting the reds to zero and the blues to zero. So we will retain uh, only the green. So you can add a comment saying, um, uh, red 
channel extraction. And similarly, this would be a green channel extraction, which we are just creating right now. And um, so it's extremely similar to the previous segment of code. The only thing we changed was um, we, we set red to blue, uh, red to zero, and uh, we are not setting greens to zero anymore. And finally, we want to set the blue channel, or we want to extract the blue channel. So in this one, we want to set red to zero, and we want to set green to zero, and we don't want to touch anything uh, with the with the blue channel. So uh, in the end, we are still going to have color images, and it's going to ask us to save them separately as color images. They are not uh, grayscale images. So here's the original file, and now I'm just going to override the old uh, red file that I saved earlier in the previous iteration and so it went back to the original color because it reloaded the original image from the path so it doesn't ask the user to re-enter the file which is a useful feature so this one I'm going to uh, this is uh, trying to save the green version so I'm going to call it uh, green of course I'm going to add it uh, add uh, green.png to the end of the file name and this is the blue version so if you look closely or if you remember what's wh what they look like you can see they are quite a bit different from each other because they are a proper separation of the channels you can see uh, in the red image this area top area or this left area um, is fairly saturated that means there's a lot of red there and uh, in the green one there there's it's pretty dark in the middle and that means uh, there's no green and so that was a red area if you remember the original image and um, in the blue one uh, again you know there, there's not a lot of blue in this image so um, you can see uh, uh, it quite a bit so that's uh, that's the example